All right, we're almost done. I was just gonna show you guys something real quick. So these are eight ohm speakers. So the way that you can wire these up is basically, you're never gonna get 16 of them if you use four, 16 ohms it is. So you go from the positive up here to the camera focus to the negative, okay? Same thing over here. Positive, negative. Okay, now this was originally a 16 ohm cab, but now it's gonna be eight. So, it's important that you pay attention to this stuff. So, anyway, the yellow goes to the center and the blue goes to the outside. What you're doing, is you're splitting this up and you're gonna drive each one of these so they're in parallel with each other right over here they're in series which equals 16 ohms and you'll feed this one and you'll feed that one from the same input which means that they're now going to cut it in half so the other way that you can do these like the way it was is they were parallel, these were paralleled, and then um, they were running series, but that was because they were 16 ohm, these guys here. So, with the 16 ohm, they'll have this over here, 16 and 16 in parallel, which equals eight, and eight, and then they'll add them together. So now you have 16. So. The problem with these 8 ohm speakers is that my other cab is a 16 ohm cab. So, and it has Celestians in it, just like these, but they're 16 ohm. So, they even say G, uh, G12S50s. So, this cab can only be used with another cab that's 8 ohms. I mean, you could hook it up, but the cab with the lower impedance is going to draw more power, and it's just not a good idea. So... In actuality, I'm done with 4x12s and full stacks and all that crap. I just would rather have a, a single 212 cab. In fact, most of the time I just play through this, which is just a single 12, 6505. So, anyway. Um, so, with this guy here, we got our negative, so we could take one of them over here. I can't reach it, but... Basically, you know, clip this one on here, and then uh, you get your other one over here. This is hard to do to film this with a phone while doing it. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional YouTube person. Um, I don't do this for money. I do this to try and help other people. So then there's your positive one. Let me get the other one up over here. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Let me see if I can turn the flash on. Okay. So. Now these wires here are not color coded because they're going in series. But these ones are. So. As you can see here, these two are in series, and the yellow wire is going to the positive, and the blue wire is going to the negative, going back over to here. And then the same set of wires go over here and do the same thing. Let's see if I can move this. So you see that? The blue wire is on the negative, the yellow wire is on the positive, those are in series, putting those two series pairs in parallel. Now you got an 8 ohm cab. And if you're not sure you did it right, get your ohm meter out and measure the ohms. They won't be exactly 8 ohms, they'll probably read like 6 or something. Um, in fact, impedance is a complicated thing, which it can actually change the more that you drive the power. So even though they say a speaker is rated at 8 ohms, the resistance fluctuates when you're driving it. And um, some stereos and stuff don't like that. 
So like I've got some Bose speakers. I think they're rated 6 or 8 ohms, but they can dip down to as low as 2 ohms when you drive them. Anyway, um, so we get the back on this and see how it sounds. We'll worry about this one later. And um, if it doesn't sound good, we'll take them back out and put them back in this thing and uh, send this thing down the road. So thanks for watching, guys.